Here's your Storm Track 5 weather forecast. Now, meteorologist Ricky Matthews. Good morning, everybody. A beautiful morning across the region. We've got a beautiful sunrise picture to show you from the Avenue region. Check out this shot. Josh Kessner sending in this shot. The beautiful sunrise over the farm there in the Avignon region. Thanks for sending in that picture. To be everybody's picture, send it to us, weather at WCYB.com or post it on our Facebook page just like Josh did. Hey, check out Watauga Lake. The sun's shining brightly out there this morning. A nice morning to get out and enjoy a morning on the lake. Maybe have coffee by the lakeside. Temperatures right now are a little cool there, around 55, 60 degrees. We'll say around 68 this morning in Y, 61 towards Jonesville and 64 in Rogersville. So temperatures varying a little bit depending on where you're at. We're about a 5 to 10 degree range across the region with around 60 to 68 degrees. Our headlines for today, we're tracking the chance for isolated showers later in the day. Higher elevation seeing the best chance for any of those, but higher rain chances move in tomorrow for the whole region. And we're still watching Tropical Storm Erica as well. It's down in the Caribbean right now, but really disorganized and it may not even be a tropical storm right now. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Now, live max radar locally, not showing any rainfall, just a few clouds on our satellite imagery. As we look at a wider view, you see an area of high pressure over us that helped keep our skies clear overnight and really allow the temperatures to drop down to the upper 50s to low 60s. Stationary front to our south, causing a few showers and storms and also helping to cause the clouds that are filtering up into our region this morning. And then a front to our west, it's going to act as a trigger for showers and storms tomorrow. As that moves a little bit closer, we'll see moisture coming out of the southwest and our humidity will go up a little bit. And with that increase in humidity, we'll also come an increase in rain chances. So future track through the day today and tomorrow and through the overnight as well. Shows chances for rain forming mainly in the higher elevations this afternoon. I think areas over towards portions of far southwestern Virginia and over towards the North Carolina and Tennessee mountains seeing the best chance for any shower or thunderstorm activity today, but won't rule out an isolated shower or storm in the valleys. I think though the rain chances will go down tonight, just a stray shower if possible. Mostly cloudy skies will form though. Then on Sunday, more showers and storms once again favoring the higher elevations first and then kind of moving into the valleys as we go later in the afternoon. Around a 40 to 50 percent chance for showers and storms tomorrow. So our severe threat tracker kind of staying pretty low for today, upping a little bit for Sunday just because we could see a few downpours with those storms and then low again on Monday with just some scattered showers expected. Partly sunny skies this afternoon, stray showers, temperatures generally anywhere from the low to mid 80s across the region tonight, dropping down into the low 60s, 62, 63 degrees is what you can expect with partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies, late and isolated shower, not out of the question. Wind's pretty light. Now here's Tropical Storm Erica, and let's talk about this a little bit because this is where the center is. And usually with the tropical cyclone, you want the cloudiness and all the thunderstorm activity to be centered right over the middle of the storm. Well, Erica's pretty disorganized. All the thunderstorm activity is actually far south and east of the system. And because of that, and really no low-level circulation being detected this morning on some of our other products, I'm not really sure this is still a tropical storm, and it wouldn't shock me as it moves towards Cuba if the National Hurricane Center declassifies it into a tropical depression or maybe just an open wave as it moves towards the islands of Cuba and then eventually up towards portions of southeast, or I should say the panhandle of Florida over the next couple of days. We'll be tracking that and, of course, give you any updates online if it does degenerate into a tropical depression. Hey, check out your seven-day, 85, 80, and then 85 once again. After that, 30% chance of rain moves in later in the week as we go towards Wednesday. Kind of the scattered afternoon pop-up variety chances for rain. Not going to rain all day, but we will see a chance for rain late in the day through the later portion of the week and chances for rain as well today, tomorrow, and Monday as well. A beautiful forecast there, Ricky. Staying warm. It is. Absolutely, but you know, some of that rain is